this is our pre-fishing video for our tournament tomorrow morning if you guys want to check out the tournament video i'm actually going to be posting it tomorrow at 7 p.m eastern time so stay tuned it's going to be a good one back to back uploads hope you guys enjoy this video what's popping people welcome back to another video today we are on the savannah river we're going to be doing some fishing today more importantly some pre-fishing because we got a tournament tomorrow that I believe we're gonna fish depending on how the fishing is today so we're about to put in the ramp got the old beautiful boat right here we're actually pulling bradley's truck today because i had to drop off my truck to get some new tires long story short i'll talk to you guys about that in another video but i ran over a big piece of metal that was about the size of a bowling ball and it knocked almost a big hole almost blew out my tire but got my boy bradley right here what you what you saying what is that wow Tim. Is that, check him out you think it's gonna be the juice I think so. That or this. Oh, that's already the juice. We already, already know about that one. But if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're going to go ahead and back this boat in, make it happen today. If you guys are wondering too, I'm filming on my iPhone right now. I actually, uh, my camera died right when I pulled it out. I was like, oh, that's great. But uh, we're going to try to catch fish today, cover a lot of water. It's going to be a fun episode. Hit that freaking like button. Let's get it started. Golly, Bradley. Well, bumpy. Here we go, boys. We're launching in. One of my favorite things about the old rub guard on the bottom of the boat, just pull up on the ramp. That's all you gotta do. There's nothing here to, you, they got that, but there ain't no dock. There's a ton of current. You ready, Bradley? Let's go. Oh, hold up. We got the poles down. You good? Bird and fairy time, boys. Come on, muscle man. It's a big, uh, it's a big boat. <laughs> You good? I'm good. Are you ready? Are you fresh and ready today, Bradley? I mean, don't wreck the boat, but yeah, I'm ready, homie. We ain't wrecking the boat out here. I, I know, know it's a little, it's a little You want to go back a couple episodes last Did time? Did you lock your truck? Hey, if you go back a couple episodes, you see how I wrecked my boat. <laughs> that was uh, about a year ago, right? <laughs> yeah. It's been a minute. That was a uh, long... When Bradley, if you guys want to see that episode, it's... uh. Crash my boat in the trees. So Bradley crashes, but he crashed his boat in the trees. That's it. not even true, but like, I it's mean, out of context. No, no you <laughs> definitely <laughs> crashed your boat in the trees. I mean, not not at a hundred miles an hour or anything, but it definitely happened. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get it started, man. You ready? Let's go. Let's get it. So I haven't tournament fished in a while, and I haven't posted many videos about tournament fishing, but. This video is a practice day and we have never gone up river this far before. We ran about an hour in our boat all the way up and we were stopping on some spots that we found on the way there. So pretty much riding up the river, we were marking spots that looked pretty good on the main river. Some current breaks, some little eddy holes, some wing dams, some little spots that were tucked away out of the current. Um, so we were just pretty much covering water at this point, seeing if there was some fish on some of these spots. And note, this is one thing, when we're practicing for tournaments, we're not trying to catch a ton of fish. If we catch one, we're going to leave. Um, we're not going to go fish a ton of areas that we already know that there's fish at. We're just trying to find new spots, cover new water, and try to find some productive holes that hold a lot of fish for the next day in the tournament. So just note that before going into this video that we're trying to find new spots and we're not trying to catch a ton of fish. So I'm going to walk you through our whole practice process and what is all on our mind. Yeah, of course, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. I, I watch you on YouTube all the time. My friends ain't going to believe. We're going to come up here and just hunt around and try to find some big ones. You know, down there in that tidal water, a bunch of you know, little tiny ones. I'm just telling him that I, I, I watch this guy all the time on YouTube talking about the Savannah River. That's awesome, man. I appreciate that. Did you guys catch any? We caught eight. Really? Back on the other side. I gotcha. Well, all right, brother. Thank you so much, man. If you ever need anything when you're out here, just let me know. The biggest thing is going to see what kind of gas lines you get on the way back. Yeah. Back with the greasy shit, you know. Coach. <laughs> It wasn't even my fault. You like dipped your rod. What are you saying? You honestly almost hooked my hand, bro. Bro, you honestly just destroyed my rod. 
that would be you now. I was literally sitting in the same position. Being greasy. Kevin man. Van Dam get there. Being greasy, man. You know? Think about it. If you get five three pounders, you gonna get a check. That's fifteen pounds. I mean, which makes a lot. Oh, there he is. Oh, he spit it out. Which makes a lot of sense. No, I mean that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Bradley. Dude, good freaking bite. I just threw this for two minutes, dude. Was it like mine? Just one hammer? No, we, I think that was a big one. He's pulled it under. He was just like holding on to it. Perfect. No. -uh. Oh my god. I was messing around with you, bro. Are you on a tree? No, I, his head's still shaking. He, he's still on there. Oh my god. Keep pressure. Keep pressure. He's on there. Oh Are you serious? God. I'm on. He's on there. Is he big? I don't know, bro. He took a 10 inch worm. I feel his head. You're on, you have the big worm on, right? Yeah. His head was shaking, bro. He ran me in his shit. I'm scared to let it off. Cause I Come behind, see if you can pull him out. Is he still on? I think so. I feel it, something shaking. Yeah, pull on this side. Ooh. Pull up. I got it. He's not on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Bradley's 10 pounds. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's even better. Nice. 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 I felt his head shaking. No, he's a he's a giant. <laughs> Bruh, that was his whole body shaking. Got one? No, I got like Oh my god. Line. I just got What is that wake? He's behind you, homie. No way! How big is that fish? I lost him. That was that a bass? Yes. There, Bradley. If that was a bass, it was a nine pounder. No way. Well, I didn't even know I had one. I'm gonna tell you right now. If that was a bass, that was a nine pounder. I think it was a mudfish. It looked kind of like a mud. If that was a bass, I'm telling you, that was a nine pounder. Did you see how big the side of his body was? This wide. He didn't look that wide. You kind of need to take me back, homie. Oh, you hung up? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Noah. What? He took the hook? That was a mud. No way. He took the hook? He broke it? No way. He broke the bait? Yep. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Choked that freaking thing. He was right there by that bait. Bro, can you get that out? Dude, he... Bro, I didn't even have time to... Bro, you, you've you had this on for five minutes. You realize that, right? Yeah. Look at how he choked it. Oh my god. Never gosh. seen one eat that. I don't know if I'm going to get this thing out. Bro, he's it's in his throat. How long was he eating that thing? It wasn't, bro. I was like, oh. bro, it's like in his goal. Hold on, I got it. I got mine. Hey, babe. Look, it was in his back right of his there. crushers. That's how far he just ate that. You had that tied on for five minutes, about a pound and a half. About took the rod out my hand. <clears throat> Let's run it back and do it one more time. You can see it all the way up, almost to the tip, bro. I think the ones that um. Oh, that was, a good that was a bite. Saturday, I need a shit. I got another one. I don't even need it. Got a couple of them. He like just hammered it right there. See all the little bait fish? Bro, that's why I'm thinking about. Is that a fish trap? Where? See that cord across the bank? What is it? What else would you tie up, man? Is that a fish trap? You want to grab it? It sure looks like something. Bro, that's heavy. Bro, wouldn't it be heavy with 20 pounds of fish in it? What is it? I think it's a fish trap. I don't even, I, I can't even really grab it. Oh, that is heavy as can be. It might not be a fish trap. All right, I'm going to lift this up. You just grab that right here. Reach your hand down there and grab it. Oh, there's no chance. What is it? I don't know. You know it's not a fish trap. Might be. Unless they just did that, just in case some like us roll up. What is this? That was weird, son. That's her fish. I don't know what that is, but I can tell you if we come up here tomorrow and I see that that thing's gone. There's going to be a polygraph test on that. Huh? Yeah, there's going to be something going on. Oh. 
Oh my God, get the net. Yep, Bradley. <laughs> that's why we're coming up. It's about a three pounder. If that, oh, that's three pounder. All day long. All freaking day long. Look how fat he is. Let's get that thing right up under that tree, baby. He's a thick fish. All right, guys, that's my first fish today. We caught two and they were both on a chatterbait. That both? swim jig might eat, get them in here good because of this clear might water. And we've never been up this far, guys. We are all the way up the river. Right. And that is oh, a, let me run. tell you, you guys have watched a bunch of river videos. This yeah. is where they catch the big ones. This is a good fish. Okay, that kind of makes me mad. I wish he went a bit. I mean, at least we know. Can I bite him off? All right, so this is what I want to do. I don't know if it's worth fishing this because they're going <laughs> to bite. I want to go all the way in the back. I want to try the back All right, let's do it. because there's a big difference between Front yeah of a ton of bait clear water cypress trees it's cool over here Welcome. water That's temp water temp is two degrees colder in here oh yeah i'm gonna tell you right now they're going to eat in here look at how many gar i that is one thing i realized about up river i've never seen so many gar in my life i mean golly should we try this side just to know? I want don't fish that cypress side. That that's going to do it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I think we need to definitely come in here and get five. No way, bro. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta. There's no way we doubled up. Oh, yours. Okay, Bradley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Why can't we just fun fish today? <laughs> that's a good one, dude. <laughs> Yo, that's a two and a half pounder. What? All right, brother. He's gonna get me. Be careful. Be careful. You good? Bro, that is the stubbiest fish. That's a two pounder, two number. All right, all right, all right. We, we got threw two casts. We just said let's try this side, not the cypress side. God, I just caught me about a pounder. Up. There was something on Facebook about that. About these, they were saying don't swim in the river up here by three hundred one because the fish have something on them and look. They do. They do. That's a good two number. Bro. Okay. Know, Let's just go right to the back. No more casts. Bro, we're so hard. They're biting. Huh? They're just Isn't that the hardest thing? I do this every time, bro. I'll like go oh, practice. No, no, I, I, ain't, I ain't throwing it. I ain't throwing it. All right, guys. We're going back in this little creek. I just want to come to the back and kind of see what it looks like. I don't know if we'll cast around back here, but <laughs> I uh, we we got in here. I put on that chatterbait. You know, Bradley had that one that choked it earlier. I skipped that thing all the way up under this tree. Had that three pounder eat it. <laughs> we turned around. I said, "All right, we're not going to cast." And then I looked at the right hand side. It's the left hand side of the bank. Cypress trees. Right hand side's willow willow trees. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to check the willow trees see if there'd be fish on that as well. well there was on. And we, we threw, up. I think it was our second cast and we up. doubled up. So they're here. I don't, I don't really want to cast it anymore, but look at what's in front of us. Can you guys, I mean, look at this. You can't say this is not some of the sexiest looking water you've oh, seen. Got, honey. You're hung? Yeah. Oh, you twinkie. Tell me this is not some of the sexiest water you've seen. Something about fishing cypress trees. I'm not gonna, back here with the top water in the morning. Up shallow. Talk about it. We come straight here. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Like we might catch the bag that we need right away. Bro, we just know? hit this all day. Yeah, I mean I go back and forth. It replenish. All I know is out out of like ten casts, caught three fish. Three oh. good fish. All yeah. keepers. I can see that thing. Look how clear. That's that's the visibility of this. This is you. A lot of you guys are gonna say this isn't clear. I would even say it's not clear. No one. I, the type I of water. It's clear. But he says it's clear. I mean, for the river, it's I mean, clear. It's cleanish. This is clean, very clean. Like, for the you river. should go see the stuff we were fishing. I mean, do you even want to go back there? Is it even worth it? Where? Back in the back here, or should we just. Nah, bro, we know what you're talking about. Yeah. Let's I... some river stuff. Guys, we're going to try one more thing. I ain't going to hook them, but we have this big worm, which I, I don't throw too many big worms on the river. Me and Bradley found that out the other day. But I'm actually going to throw it on a few of these cypress trees just to see if there's fish positioned on it. I'm not going to hook them. I just want to see if they'll eat this worm. That's another thing. Like if we can come in here in the morning with moving baits and some top water maybe and sack up some fish and then follow back up with a worm. See what I'm saying, Bradley? Those fish that we didn't catch. I'm not going to hook set. If one has it, I'm going to try to get it out of his mouth. I just want to know if they'll eat it because this will save us a lot of time today. You know what I mean? If I throw this in here right now and one eats it, I'll just be like, all right, then they'll eat it. 
we know they're gonna eat it. We've already got bites on my one. I caught fish on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, man. He spit it up. I ain't gonna lie. I had dead weight, but I think it was a fish. You wanna go in here? No. You sure? Yeah. Juicy looking. That was nasty. God, about oh, took the rod out of my hand. Did you, you see, see the how boil? Big that bass was? <laughs> Did you just see that? Bass? That was a seven pound. <laughs> that was a freaking seven. <laughs> oh my god! Like, what? Did you see it? Yes. It about took the. I got another. Put, put, let's put, put. No, I don't know if that's a bass. I don't think that one was a bass. That was a bass. I don't know, 100%. No, that first one. Or, I mean, the first one I think was a bass. That second one, I don't know. I don't Did know. you see that? I don't even know if I want to see it. Was that like a seven? Was, was it seven actually? Seven. That was a you seven. saw it. I saw it. I wasn't paying was attention. The fish of the day by and I just got hit the next cast. All right, let's catch one. And then, I don't know if that second one was a bass. I just... Bradley, he almost, both of those almost took the rod out of my hand. I'm being serious. Like, I'm, I ain't talking about just hitting it. I'm talking taking it out of my hand. No, it was like, no, it was this big. What? Come on, dude. So that was like a seven, eight pounder. He felt like it. Oh, they're in here. That was a little bass. Oh my God. Everyone is like this. There he is. Oh my God, he came off. That was him, 100%. He might eat you. That was 100% a fish. There's a lot of logs on there now. No, it was 100% a fish. Like I actually felt them pull. Like that, that, like there's, if there's any bite today that was a fish, that was it. Okay, that, that wing dam over there. That wing dam. Oh my God, I can get up in there. He's big, huge, huge. Oh my God, it's four pounder. All right, we know the pattern. Let's go ahead and put him back in the water. Yeah. He's already been hooked. No. Uh -huh. Yep. Always. Oh my God, my hands just went right through. That's three and a four. There we go, guys. That's the biggest fish today. I skipped that chatterbait all the way up under that tree. I was talking to Bradley. I want to focus on areas around where we've been finding fish and now we just pulled off to our second main river spot biggest fish today that's a three number right there if we catch five of those we're going to be looking good he hammered that thing i had a bite right before him right there so now knowing that we're pre-fishing we're finding spots we're not going to continue the fish this we don't want to do that last thing you want to do is catch all your fish so what we're going to do is put a waypoint on this spot and we're going to keep it in our head to come back here um that's a beautiful fish right there we're going to get him back in the water i mean <laughs> Guys, we, we on the good ones. This is, we got the winning pattern. I, I promise you that if we can just keep it up and keep finding spots where it holds fish like that. All right, we are at the house now, getting a bunch of rods rigged up for today or for tomorrow. We are back at the house now. We're getting everything rigged up for the tournament tomorrow. We're excited about it. Um, we are exhausted. It was a long freaking day, big grind, 100 degree weather. And um, it was fun though. We, we found a bunch of fish and to be quite honest with you, I think we have the, the winning fish. We just got to go there tomorrow. I, I 100%. I just, this is actually the biggest tournament on the Savannah River this year. I'm, I'm excited about it. A bunch of people are going to be coming out. Our and um, I'm curious to see how people end up doing, see if people actually found some of the fish that we did. That's the only big thing that we're talking about. Is like, there are going to be a couple other people that found those same fish. Um, but I really don't think that's going to affect us tomorrow. Um, how the river is, you know, tidal water fisheries, current fisheries. Um, it's going to replenish throughout the day. I don't think it's going to be a big problem, but, you know, we're just double checking everything. We respooled about how many reels? About five, five, five six. I think five or six reels we respooled, um, put brand new line on them, getting everything ready. I'm just excited about it. I think we're going to go out there tomorrow and, and, and win it. I really do. And um, 
got that confidence for that and we big found the fish energy. got that big bass energy and we uh i think we're gonna make it happen so what do you think about today bradley we had a great day today i mean we covered 60 70 miles of stretch it's gonna be a very timing aspect to tomorrow's i really don't think it's gonna be though like not i don't think it's gonna be as is time like la like before we went out there i thought timing was gonna be more important personally yeah. But I mean, we caught them in the heat of the day when we thought we were going to catch them in the morning. You that know what I mean? That is also true. Tell the people what you're doing right now and uh, what you're testing out. Testing out the old Bangalore on a flimsy rod. We were uh, rigging them at the back of my house right here. And it's really cool because I got, you know, this beautiful pond in my backyard. If you guys want to see some more videos out here, like let me know down below because we'll definitely come out and film some more. But um, it's pretty cool because we were just like rigging them up and be like, all right, them. let's go. Uh, let's go set up the reels, get everything ready and been pretty cool he's uh getting his old top water reel set up um rod and reel figuring out everything with that and i'm um, excited for Very tomorrow excited. so you guys know how we were catching them on chatterbaits today well we went to dick sporting goods we i haven't been tackle shopping in a minute just because everything's like sold out like just about everything but we've been catching them on the chatter donkeys and look at how many how many did i buy bro at least 10 at least 10 let, let me see what we got in here um uh, i can actually open it black and red we got black and red we got black and blue big league shoe big league shoe um black and blue red and black power beat. um it's kind of smelly in there black and, blue, black and blue black and blue and then i think we rigged up three right yeah and then we got these like little swim baits there wasn't many swim baits in there um these are like basic little kytex four inches i wish they were bigger um but i will say these are like perfect for the back of that chatter bait um we didn't rig them up like the ones that we rigged up um i got a pop and pickle right here on um my crush got the new crush reel with my chatter bait that's what i was using today i um, got a texas rig on a mach 2 i got a pro ti on a mach 2 rod with a backup chatter bait i'm telling you bro we going all out man the chatter bait's got to pull out today um we got a swim jig on this rod and then this rod got another chatter bait um texas rig crank bait that's i'm gonna let bradley run that and then bang lure um for in the morning he's gonna toss that bad boy and then this reel right here i'm gonna put a another curve 55 similar to this one except what is it muddy water curl muddy water curl, muddy water curl is going on that rod so you guys better stay tuned for the next episode it's gonna be a good one guys we're gonna go out there tomorrow and end up winning this tournament i'm excited we have positive attitude about it we found a bunch of fish today and um I think we're gonna go out there and put a hurting on them as long as the fish are there as long as we make it there all right and everything pans out but thank you guys so much for the support i love you guys so much hit that freaking like button especially if you want to see some more tournament content